I'm at Parkland in Beijing. It's a theme park made by Popmart, which is a toy manufacturing company. I'm going to look around Popland today, and then later I'm going to meet with the company management to learn more about their overseas expansion plan. Many leading domestic companies in China are hoping to find ways of growth overseas. To find out more, I visited a few companies, and one of them is Popmart. Since it was founded in 2010, it has grown to 340 stores in China and 55 stores overseas with a total of 2,185 vending machines. Employing a unique business model, it has gained significant popularity mainly due to its marketing strategy and blind box culture. We just arrived in Popmart. I'm going to meet with the COO so we can talk about the company business strategy and also their overseas strategy. What is Popmart's ambition in overseas markets? We have been in the market the so past few days, I met many interesting companies in Beijing. Indeed, the consumer sentiment in China has been quite weak for a while. But like Popmart, some companies are trying to find new growth engines outside of China, utilizing their experiences in China market, which has been very competitive, and they could learn how to gain consumers' minds here. I'm back in Singapore, along Orchard Road, and behind me is another Chinese-based company that has expanded overseas. We are seeing more and more of such companies overseas because they know how to create products that the consumers desire and manage to up their game in marketing as well as consumer engagement. After what I saw in my recent trip to Beijing, I'm confident that there will be further success for these companies in the future.